Well, hello. If you are like me, you've got a fairly old, but still working just fine, LiftMaster com uh, commercial garage door opener, and probably a fairly large garage door, and you would like some sort of app control over it, but your only alternative is a brand new MyQ capable opener that costs thousands of dollars. And you're just not really looking to spend that kind of money to replace something that is perfectly fine. And it probably means you've got a wall switch that looks something like this with an open, stop, and close. Um, I think I have a fairly clever solution kind of building off of some things I've seen people doing for DIY gate controllers. Um, so I'll show you what these things look like inside with a photo. Uh, I suppose I'll just drop that right now. Yep, so it's just a common wire on this side, and then there's three momentary outputs. And I've snuck a second wire into mine, which is an 18-8 thermostat wire. The reason why I did eight conductors is because I plan to uh, do this with my power uh, retractable screen on the outside as well a little bit later, which is controlled by this. I'm going to actually buy a second opener uh, and solder some contacts inside <clears throat> and uh, maybe even hardwire the power supply if I get really, really ambitious. But anyway, here is my wire punched all the way through. Uh, and for this, it really depends on what you want to do. You really only need four of these eight wires. I'm actually only using three because I'm not using the stop function. I'm only going to use the open and close because I'll always be near the garage door when operating it. Um, so I've just got a common one wire, which I use black on this side, and then I use, I think, blue and yellow for close and open. In order to make use of that, I bought this thing, and I could have gotten away with just a two-channel, because uh, like I said, I'm only using three wires. Uh, what this thing is, is essentially a dumbed-down Raspberry Pi. So it's a GPIO controller, which essentially means it's a little computerized device that's able to operate a relay momentarily. So there's a garbage app for this thing that should work just fine. And what I intend to do is, and you can see in these Chinese instructions here, com, normally open and normally closed. So those are standard uh, uh, relay uh, connection points. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these two relays here and I'm gonna wire my black common wire. So the one on the right side of my garage door opener here, and then I'm gonna use a jumper into this one as well, the middle one of this relay. And then I'm gonna use this relay is normally open, so the left contact for the close. So it's gonna be my blue wire. And then I'm gonna use the yellow or the open on this one. So that I think will work just fine. And I've actually got a thermostat, ah, geez. I've got a thermostat pretty nearby uh, that I can take 24 volt AC power off of. So I'm gonna do that to power this board. Uh, it's a 40 uh, VA transformer, so it should be a great plenty for this. It does also have a micro USB header on it, so if you don't have any of that nearby, no problem. Just plug in any old garbage micro USB. That's how I'm going to set it up to begin with here uh, in just a moment. I'm going to run over and plug it into a micro USB and uh, get the app downloaded and get it chooching. And then we'll go ahead and wire this thing in to the actual power using some more of that 18 gauge wire, uh, probably. And then just make sure everything's uh, working hunky-dory. So I've got this thing plugged into micro B. I held that button for five seconds to get this weird little blink code. There we go. Authenticated. So let's go ahead and name it and get through this part. Okay. So I have it set up for momentary now. Excellent. So, I don't know if I can name these. I'm gonna see. Oh, it needs a firmware update. Interesting. Oh, I updated the firmware, you don't need to. I also labeled the relays, so I'll hit door down. And again, door up. The app is mediocre. There was a QR code if you guys are looking for the app. There's a QR code right there, and it brings you right to it, so. Um, next step, I guess, is going to be going over, wiring it into the AC transformer. Uh, since it's all paired and set up, then we'll give it a go. 
So, I've got it on the wall over there. And for the sake of science, let me hit stop on the wall. That's very, very cool. <laughs> I'm digging that a lot. Something I was just thinking of uh, before, I could have a unified stop and then just have screen down or screen up for safety, but it is kind of unfortunate. It'd be nice if it had a five or six position um, as an option. But either way, it's pretty cool that this just straight up works. Wow, that works better than a garage door opener. <laughs> Very nice. 